The Tiger King Part 5 I have killed the hundredth tiger. My vow has been fulfilled. The Maharaja was overcome with elation. Now after killing that hundredth tiger, Maharaja was very very happy. He was overcome with elation. Very happy. And he said that my, my vow, my promise has been fulfilled. Ordering the tiger to be brought to the capital in grand procession, the Maharaja hastened away in his car. And he just ordered that this uh, hundred tiger has to be brought in grand procession. Ek bade jalous ke saath. Now procession is when number of people and the vehicles, they move in orderly way as part of a ceremony. Usne kaha ki ek jalous ke tarah se ise laya jaye and he hastened away in his car. And he, in hurry, he went away in his car. After the Maharaja left, the hunters went to take the closer look at the tiger. The tiger looked back at them, rolling its eyes in bafflement. And when Maharaja left, when the hunters they went nearby the tiger, उन्होंने देखा जो tiger है वो अपनी आंखें roll कर रहा है bafflement में. Tiger भी confusion से देख रहा है कि ये हुआ क्या है. The men realized that the tiger was not dead. The bullet had missed it. और उन्होंने देखा कि bullet उस पर बराबर से निकल गई है. It had fainted from the shock of the bullet whizzing past. और उसकी बराबर से वो निकल गई है and he had fainted due to this shock. And which the bullet has whizzing past. Whizzing means moving quickly. Barabar se ikdam se jo nikli hai. The hunters wondered what they should do. They decided that the Maharaja must not come to know that he had missed his target. Aur unne jab decide kiya ke Maharaja ko ye pata nahi chalna chahiye ke he had missed his tiger. If he did, they could lose their jobs. And they were afraid ke agar Maharaja ko ye pata chal gaya, unki job jayegi. Once one of the hunters took aim from a distance of one foot and shot the tiger. And one of the hunter, he himself killed the tiger. This time he killed it without missing his mark. And this time they were damn sure that the tiger had been killed. Then, as commanded by the king, the dead tiger was taken in procession through the town and buried. And as commanded, as ordered by the king, the tiger was taken in procession. Uska pura jalous nikala gaya. And uh, he was buried. Then usko bury kar diya gaya. A tomb was erected over it, and not only that, a monument in the memory of the dead person or uh, animal. उसको जो tomb बोलते हैं, जैसे Taj Mahal is a great tomb. ऐसा उसके ऊपर, उसकी जो burial जो जगह थी, उसके ऊपर एक tomb बना दिया गया. A few days later, Maharaja's third birthday, Maharaja's son's third birthday was celebrated. और कुछ दिनों के बाद Maharaja का जो बेटा था, वो तीन साल का हो गया, उसका birthday मनाना जाता. Until then, Maharaja had given his entire mind over to tiger hunting. And naturally, till then, Maharaja had given his full uh, mind to the hunting. He had had no time to spare for the crown prince. उनके पास अपने बच्चे के लिए प्रिंस के लिए कोई वक्त नहीं था. But now the king turned his attention to the child. He wished to give him some special gift on his birthday. He went to the shopping center in Pratibandapuram and searched every shop, but couldn't find anything suitable. Finally, he spotted a wooden tiger in a toy shop. And decided it was the perfect gift. Or finally, his birthday ke liye, the tiger uh, he chose a wooden tiger, and he thought that it would be a perfect gift. The wooden tiger cost only two annas and a quarter, and it was not very expensive also. But the shopkeeper knew that if he quoted such a low price to the Maharaja, he would be punished under the rules of the emergency. एंड uh, उसे पता था टाइगर बहुत चीप था बट महाराज शॉपकीपर को भी पता था कि वो उसके प्राइस को बहुत कम नहीं बता सकता क्योंकि हिमसेल्फ महाराजा है इसका ये रूल से खिलाफ होता है सो ही सेट योर मेजेस्टी दिस इज एन एक्सट्रीमली रेयर एग्जांपल ऑफ क्राफ्टमैनशिप नो ही स्टार्टेड प्रेजिंग दैट टाइगर उसने कहा सर ये तो एक बड़ा रेयर बड़ा स्पेशल एग्जाम्पल है क्राफ्टमैनशिप का अ बारगेन एट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ही बेड इज कॉस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड Very good. Let this be your offering to the crown prince on his birthday," said the king, and took it away from him. And the king became very happy. कि चलो ये offering तो बहुत अच्छी है. And um, he took it away with him. On that day, father and son played with that tiny little wooden tiger. On uh, that day, father and the son, uh, Jang Jang Bahadur and his son, they both played with. It. it had been carved by an unskilled carpenter. And now the tiger that had been carved, जिसने उसकी खुदाई की है जिसने उसकी कार्विंग की है दैट वॉज डन विद बाई अनस्किल्ड कारपेंटर इट्स अर फेस वॉज रफ टाइनी स्लाइवर्स ऑफ वुड स्टूड अप लाइक क्वेल्स ऑल ओवर इट 
और किसी ने उसको ढंग से द बिकॉज द कारपेंटर वॉज नॉट अ गुड कारपेंटर ही डिड नॉट मेड इट सरफेस स्मूद उसकी सरफेस बहुत रफ थी एंड ट्राइनी स्लाइवर्स स्लीवर्स मीन्स स्मॉल थिन पीसेज ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज कट और ब्रोकन फ्रॉम लार्ज पीस ओके स्मॉल थिन पीस ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज कट और ब्रोकन फ्रॉम लार्ज पीस उसके स्लीवर्स जो वुड के थे वो खड़े थे लाइक क्वेस लाइक स्पाइंस ऑल ओवर इट वन ऑफ दो स्लीवर्स पियर्स द महाराजाज राइट हैंड और वो एक छोटा सा टाइनी सा पीस ऑफ वुड का महाराजा के हाथ में चुप जाता है He pulled it out with his left hand and continued to play with the prince. Though Maharaja, with his left hand, he took out that wooden part. The next day, infection flared in the Maharaja's right hand, and the next day, the infection flared. Flared means widened. जो infection हो गया Maharaja के पूरे हाथ में. In four days, it developed into a spreading sore which spread all over the arm. और चार दिन के अंदर अंदर it developed into a uh, separating. Separating sore means generating pus. Pus वाला एक बहुत बड़ा ulcer बन गया. Three famous surgeons were brought it, brought in from Madras, and three famous surgeons who did uh, the surgery they were uh, called from Madras. After holding a consultation, they decided to operate, and the operation took place. And operation was done by these three surgeons. The three surgeons who performed it came out of the theater and announced the operation was successful, but the Maharaja is dead. And three surgeons, when they came out, they said operation was successful, but alas, the Maharaja is dead. In this manner, the hundred tiger took its final revenge upon the tiger king, and we can say that the hundred king, and how he took its final revenge, us tiger king ne us uh, tiger ne badla liya apne apne aap ka tiger king se, and this is how what the chief astrologer said that came out true. So this is the story of Maharaja Jang Jang Bahadur of Prati Bandapuram. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.